Hello everybody, welcome back to Rev Drafting with Cappy. Today we're playing Vanilla Strawberry and we have that name because today we went to the farm, the market and that's what we we're able to pick up. <laughs> okay, on the more serious note. We have our base red here and just a topping in white. So that's why we have only 7 white sources and 11 red sources. We don't we don't mind having not, not having white in the beginning of the game, but we must for sure have red. And we're playing anti lands here because our pool was, was really small. But we also have Tormenting Voice here to be able to discard some extra lands and draw some more cards if we need to. We also find Trial of Zeal here and two Cartouches of Solidarity that I hope will play really well. And this time we are a little short on creatures. But even so, we have Mighty Leap, Brute Strength, uh, Magma Spray and Impeccable Timing in Farm of course that can sometimes be used to protect our creatures so let's hope we don't get too behind on the board so okay so first let's see how my picks went and then let's see how the games go okay we're back drafting we see lord of destruction here this is our first one so i'm picking this we also have unconventional tactics struggle as very good cards in this pack let's see if we can get any of them back especially struggle here we see a ruthless sniper trial seal we see the cart the the blue cartouche the white cartouche is also here cryptic Semper serpent might be a fun card to play but i think i'm just picking trial seal here there's so many cartouches coming around magmaroth here strikes me as the best card besides that that there's nothing really that good mighty leap and path maker initiate are good also Stripe and Hoverwinder is okay. Labyrinth Guardian is really good. Cartouche of Solidarity is also really good. You see Brute Strength. Oven Wilds also. I think I just want the white cartouche. Okay, here we see the green cartouche. Lizard, Tacrop Elite. Pick five green cartouches. <laughs> it's it's kind of like too good. I think I'm picking green cartouche here. I might be green. Okay, here there's nothing really too good. I think I'd rather have the Treasure Lizard here. Here I think Oketra's Avenger is the best card. And yeah, nothing else really catch my attention. I think here I like impeccable timing more than the Zealot of the God Pharaoh. I think I want Neft Nef Crop Entangler here. I may be just going Boros again. Another cartouche is great to see. Mighty Leap here is okay. I also have to decide which color is my base. Okay, Brute Strength also great. I think I like Tormenting Voices. Tormenting Voice here. Strategic Planning to my sideboard. And we see another Sphinx of Revelation. It's my third one now. I'm hoping this Compulsory Rest will come back. But Firebrand Archer will be okay also. If none of those are here, Evolving Worlds would be also good. Here we see Unconventional Tactics and the Minotaur. We have a lot of pump spells already, so I think I like the Minotaur more. Here we see Farm and Magma Spray. I think Magma Spray is my pick here. See an approaching of the second sun. It's my first one, picking this. I don't like playing this many pump spells with no creatures. Yeah, okay, I'll take Mighty Leap. Here we see a very late Crocodile of the Crossing and a Desert. I'm just taking the Desert. Here we see a Merciless Javelinier and a Desert. Taking the Desert. Taking those who serve here just because I'm really low on creatures. Only six. There's nothing here for us. I'm going for Vault Progress here. Here I have to take a character of Avenger. Need the creatures. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs is too bad on our deck. <laughs> I'll take Farm. Taking the Moral being Bone Slasher here. Wandering Death. Tripod Trigger Winder. Here we see another Mythic card. That's great. So our first one. There's a really small possibility this comes back, but I don't think so. Try of Zeal comes back. But we can probably count on Pathmaker Initiate coming back. Okay, taking the Mythic. Here we see another green creature. This may be okay, taking it. I might have to play three colors because I don't have enough playables. Okay, I'm taking the camo. Here I like Pathmaker Initiate a little more. Even though we don't have that many three powered creatures, two powered creatures, right? In that case, I'm just taking the Firebrand Archer. Nine creatures. Okay, I like the Anointed Priest here. Yeah, this this is really bad. Taking Karen Scrapper. Taking the thing with Cycle here. <laughs> Going for Vault Progress. Okay, Pathmaker Initiate came back, but we don't see the trial back. It's so pick. Finally have enough playables to maybe make a deck. <laughs> I would like to have more options though. The starters taking those who serve out here. Yeah, okay. Tormenting Voice. In the worst case, we, we can play Tormenting Voice and 18 lands to make our deck a little thinner. Let's go cap. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is our first game playing Vanilla Strawberry. We are lucky to have won the draw, the die roll. We are playing first. We are keeping this hand and probably cycling this Desert of True. Having Nef Crop Entangler here on the second turn is really great. I think I'll go for my Archer here though, I don't, I don't want to play my Pathmaker Initiate right now, it might be important on the later game, and I'm attacking without exerting. Next turn we can just cycle the Desert and play the Pathmaker Initiate, unless they have a creature that can block, in that case we'll use Farm to protect our creatures. Okay, that's a good target for Farm. Just wonder if I should exert, not attack with my Archer and do the two spells this turn, I think that, that's a better play, exerting here. Your opponent's attacking here, don't mind taking two. 
It's okay also. I'll just cycle. Here we have brute strength, but that won't allow us to save a creature. So we're just attacking and farming. Or should we just make it unblockable and let the opponent have some more damage on the table? I think I'll do that. Next turn we can use farm to take out their even wind guide. Okay. See if they have a, a way to protect it. Let me have a counter spell. Okay. It may come back next turn, but that's okay. This supply kind of in here is also okay. In that case I'm attacking with my archer and my entangler. Might be able to kill the caravan here. They want to double block, that's fine. I will unfortunately lose my Nefcrop Entangler, but that's okay. It's a 2 for 2. They're probably bringing their flying guy back. Oh no, they're not. They just want to gain some more life. Okay, I'm playing those who serve here. Hope they don't have a counter spell. And I'll continue attacking. I'm keeping this planes in my hand as a bluff. Oh, they could have made it unblockable. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I have, they, they could have countered my, my ability, but that's not that card. Also, if I draw my tormenting voices, I can discard these planes. Okay, I'll do it like this. I'll go to my attack phase and try declaring uh, my, my creatures as attackers. They have to use their defensive authority before that, so I won't lose my Pathmaker initiative ability. Okay, they're letting me declare. So I'm just attacking with this. And they just lost the ability to use Edifice of Authority. Yeah, they should probably put a brick counter on it though. I think finally the flying guy is coming back. Let's hope we have an answer. Oh, Tribe of Knowledge, okay. And their land here is not what we wanted to see. But I just... I don't know if I should play this or not. Just keeping a hand doesn't bother me too much. Let's do the same play as before. Two attackers. I'll declare my attack. Okay, that's expected. Two attackers. Solitary camel here is bad. I don't want to see lifelink happening. And we're just drawing lands. Play of planes here. Oh, we might be losing this. Next turn, the Edifice of Authority will have three counters already, so they will be able to stop me from blocking also. I'll have to trade my Scrapper for the Camel, and I'll be super behind the race. Let's hope they don't see that play. Oh, okay, they can do that also. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm very dead. Good game opponent. Okay, we're playing our second game with Vanilla Strawberry. Our hand is okay. I will discard a land to this Tormenting Voice. Here I like Pathmaker, sorry, Firebrand Archer a little more. Next turn I'm just playing Pathmaker Initiate. No lands. Our opponent's playing Orzov. Okay, that might mean they are killing both. Yeah, that was bad. Discarding land here. See, I draw planes. That's not good. <laughs> we had an over 90% chance of drawing the planes by now. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Let's see if I'm in this crew forever. One of the attacks here, I'm taking 4 damage. Yeah, it looks really bad to us. Okay, desert here is fine. Do I want to trade here? I think I do. I'm gonna have to trade my, my Nef Crop Entangler for that Kenra Eternal. Next turn, I will try to use my Dose Who Serve to kill the Soul Stinger and then have it to have it back to block the Maraud Marauding Bone Slasher later. Okay. That's a lot of damage, even though the Spozo Mummy is attacking. <laughs> I don't think I'm surviving enough for that. <laughs> uh, okay, I could play those who serve here and lose the game to Marauding Bones Lasher. 
Yeah, we didn't get white mana fast enough. We're playing vanilla strawberry again. We are starting this time. And our hand is good. Keeping. We have Firebrand Archer into and Crop Crusher or Camera Scrapper and Tormenting Voice to discard some extra lands. And Barrow here is okay. I'm really glad to see Cartouche here. Okay, you don't want to attack and didn't have a 2 drop. I think my play here is just to exert and stop them from blocking so I can attack with both my creatures. Oh, okay, you can do that also. Okay, Disposable Mummy is just fine. I think I must just play a Cartouche and Tormenting Voice here. Or play a Canary Scrapper. Yeah, I'm playing a Canary Scrapper. And Tormenting Voice that planes. And playing a Cartouche on my Scrapper. Or should I put a Catra's Avenger in play and play my land? I can play my land. I don't need to exert here, even if I don't. I can kill enough of their creatures not to die. Try a solidarity here. It's kind of scary. They forgot to exert? Oh no. That's 14 damage. A pump spell. 16. I'm not, I'm not blocking. Okay, land here is not what we wanted to see. They will tap one of our creatures. So let's make sure our attack is as widespread as possible. I think we can kill them here. They will tap one, one of the creatures won't be able to block, they only have one blocker. They probably tap the scrapper. So I'll deal six, six, touch it, all the dice. No, I, I still can't kill them. No, hang on. I think I can. That, that's. No, I'm missing one damage. That's bad. Okay, I have to block on the way back. I have to make two blocks. So here I'm not exerting, I'm just attacking. Here I'm also just attacking. They want to trade, I'm okay with that. Okay, just have to make one block next turn. Oh, no. Okay, this might be game for us. Oh, we also have Trial of Zeal, so we can just cast Trial of Zeal and win next turn if they don't kill us. <laughs> okay, we are playing our fourth game with Vanilla Strawberry. Our hand is okay, we have Tormenting Voice to do some discarding later if we need to. I'm keeping this. Let's hope we draw a 2-drop. Okay, no 2-drop. I think I'm discarding a mountain now. I don't see a problem playing Thresher Lizard here. Okay. Let's see if they want to block this. Okay, I'm fine with that. I think I'd rather have Path, for make, path make Initiate and Nefcroft Entangler on the table for next turn. Let's hope they don't have the 2 minus 1 minus 1 counter spell. Splendid Agony. It seems like they do. <laughs> No, it's just a Magma Spray. I'm fine taking 5 here. Oh, they have 2 Magma Sprays. Okay. I'm not blocking. Okay, we are drawing too many lanes again. Puncturing Blow will do 5 damage. I think I'm just saving it. Okay, try off is good to see here. Taking out that Morlock might be a good idea. So I don't want to attack with my Dose of Surf. They don't have any good, good attacks to make now. They don't have a Desert, right? Yeah, they don't, so they, they won't be able to activate Guild of Sardon's ability. I think I'm just killing it with my Dose of Surf now. Let's hope they don't have a Pump Spell. Truck Crop Entangler here is fine. Nimble Blade Camera, it's okay also, but the table is getting clogged. Oh, Bone Picker is really bad for me. <laughs> I'm just drawing lands. They might have the game. I have to keep back. And I'm taking 3 on the air. Ok, 
Okay, Wandering Death here is really good for them. I'll cycle my desert. Catra's Avenger won't be enough to save me. Maybe if I can draw a cartouche next turn, I can kill that bone picker. And then my Oketra's Avenger will have first strike and will be able to block the Ceradon. Okay. Cartouche? No, it's the land. Yeah, good game opponent. Okay, and those were our games. We won only one time, lost three times, got a net negative of 1,400 gems, found three rares, two mythic cards, and one booster pack. Our current win rate is 53.6%. Okay everybody, thank you all for watching. If you want me to keep making content like this, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to click one of the links on the screen. So hope to see you all next time. See ya.